Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a really nice start to December. I hope it's going really well for you. I hope you enjoyed the weekend. Today's coffee with Canva is No 13, which is really strange because it's actually day six, but it's called No 13. That's really bizarre. Let me go and brew this up and I'll be right back with you and we'll dive into Canva. Today we're looking at layers and how you can use layers to create some really funky effects. Ooh, definitely in need of a coffee this morning. Really chilly out there this morning. Today's mug, if you like, is this alpaca one, which is adventure you say, alpaca my bugs. I love my funny punny mugs. Anyway, let's dive into Canva and take a look. Okay, here we are, we're in Canva, and this canvas is just a YouTube thumbnail canvas. Again, it gives that a little bit more kind of like space for me to be able to demonstrate this to you. And what I've found under the photographs was this person dancing, and then under the elements was kind of like this graphic. And I thought, as you'll have seen in the thumbnail for this video, I thought it'd be kind of quite funky to kind of try and fit the person kind of like in the graphic and I like this graphic as well because we can change and alter the colors so the first thing we're going to want to do when working with layers is you can see like this layer is behind that one and that one's on top of that one but how do we get this to be kind of like part behind her and part in front of her well there's a really simple way of doing that and you can just come to crop and you could just say well I'm going to put that bit in front or in behind and then you're going to click copy and paste and then crop that down Oops. to there and then you just line these up take your time kind of lining them up and you can like make them as you kind of like make them bigger Oops. make these two elements bigger you can see one of them we can then move behind so if we move that backwards see it disappears but the thing we need to do is we need to actually remove the background of the image so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the image and then click remove background and if you don't have the remove background option i think it's pro option i put a link down below to a 45 day trial of canva pro give it a go 45 days i've got 24 days of tutorials give you plenty of time to try out these tutorials and try out canva pro and canva pro features there's some really good features in canva pro and i'm going to be talking about those in a future video so if you do want to find out more about some of the features and videos coming up in this series make sure you click like and subscribe down below so now we've removed the background on that person so what we're going to do is i'm going to kind of like reset it a little bit because what we've got here is we've got so rewind a little bit clearly the coffee is kicking in a lot quicker this morning but let's rewind a little bit what we've got is we've got this person we've removed the background and then we've got this image here now in order to kind of like line these up what I want is to kind of like imagine this person's kind of like coming through the, the picture if you like so you'll see on this image here what we've got is we've got exactly the same person and exactly the same but what I've done if I ungroup these I'll show you exactly how it's made up this is this bits on top because it kind of like fits so I've just cropped it to that bit there so you, you kind of cropping it where it, you can see now where I've moved it it's not quite lined up you need to make sure you're lining them up and sizing them up correctly and then also we've got the background image so you can see it almost it's strange when you when you see it it's it's like it's it's a really simple process in the background but it gives some really good effects so that's all you're going to do is you're just going to come in and you're going to move this to the background so i'm going to line this up to be 
say around about here and what we want is we want to be able to have some kind of like lines around here so i can start saying that this is coming around the front and then from this point onwards it's going to kind of like go around the back if you like or what i'm going to do is bring the image forwards so i want to duplicate that so i'm doing control c control v to duplicate that and i have heard the last couple of days there's been some issues with the control c control v but seems to be working again now which is great so if you do have any problems with that you can just right click and just copy and paste um, but that gives you all your little shortcuts and you can even like send backwards so i'm using a mac so it's command and the bracket to move backwards and what is it option command and the bracket to send to the back or you can just highlight them and when you move them layers about you can just highlight the image and if you come up to the position option here you can move this backwards forwards and as you build up more layers it'll kind of decide kind of how it's sending it back one of the things that i would absolutely love to see in 2022 is just a little tab at the side where i could show kind of like layers and kind of like move them around just like you would in like a photo editing software i would absolutely love that so if that does come out i will make sure i do a video on it so do make sure you click subscribe and like down below anyway let's dive back in to this one so now we've got this person we've got a duplicate copy we've got one behind the graphic and we've got one in front of the graphic now what i'm going to do is you can either come up to the crop option here but you can see with this actual image i've actually got the crop image here so you can see there if i zoom in a little bit here oops if i zoom in you can see what that does by having this white space here and this is where you've got to have kind of like play about with this concept it can be really it can be a little bit frustrating from people i've seen trying to do it, it can be a little bit frustrating to kind of like try and get the design element and the kind of like the idea of it kind of like sorted first but you, what you want is this kind of like white space and now you'll notice so i've come up to here but this bit here is still over the image all we're going to do is we're going to create another layer so i'm going to bring that in here so it comes through that way actually that works better but if i wanted kind of like another part so you can see the where the arm kind of like comes back it doesn't quite work so what i want to do is i want to come back in here i'm going to copy and paste and i'm going to put that bit in here again now this time I'm going to pull it across and I'm going to lift that up did you see what happened there so what we've actually got is we've got multiple layers based on kind of like if you imagine it like being a, a grid over the image and what you're deciding on those images is kind of like you have like the center bit is the bit that's shown on all layers so even if it's behind the image because like your like your graphic is kind of like see-through so that's going to show up on there and I really wish there was a way for me to show you this. Actually, I've just thought of a way of how I can show you this. So if I just highlight all these or duplicate the page, let me duplicate the page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the graphic to the side. So you see the graphic is at the side here. I'm just going to shrink that down. We've not altered the graphic in any way. But what we've got is we've got multiple images. So this is the one that's behind if you like so and then what we've got on top of that is we've got ones or images that will fit on top so that make it look like she's popping through this now you could be popping through a, anything really you could be popping through a, a a circle or any kind of shape i just really liked this one because i was able to come up and change the colors and if you've not seen i've done a video on editing on changing colors i'll put a link up here to that video about changing colors but that's kind of like how you can play about with layers in canva and it's all about kind of like just cropping different areas that you want and making them kind of like appear on or below above or below kind of like the images 
and as I say as you kind of like start playing about with images so if I just randomly just put these smush all these in the middle see this one here now if I wanted to see move that I could send that backwards and it's gonna keep doing that it's gonna move it backwards behind each of the layers because each of those each of those steps is moving it back behind another layer that's on top of it and you have to kind of like try and visualize in your mind if you can where each layer is um, and what you can do as well is once you've got more than two layers because you, if you've got two layers you're either moving it forwards or backwards on top of one layer if you want to say bring that image from all the way at the back because that's at the back now if i highlight that image if i want to just bring it to the front all of a sudden i can do i can just say click bring to the front and that's going to jump that all the way to the front of those images but that's today's video hope you really like it it's about playing with layers i would really love to see the creations that you're making with layers i've got a facebook group called better content creators come join better content creators facebook group i would share your designs i'd love to see what you're creating and yeah until next time until tomorrow enjoy your coffee and bye for now <sighs> that's good coffee hashtag coffee is awesome in today's video if you've watched to the end coffee is awesome also I'm going to be doing a bit more on my vlog channel in 2022. Do you know I have a blog, vlog channel or a video channel that is not just this one? If you're interested, comment down below. What's your other channel? And I'll let you know. Maybe. Need to make this background a little bit more Christmassy, I think. Next video. Bye.